Good morning, children. I am going to take science. Good children. So the lesson name. Open your textbook. Science textbook. Page number twelve. In that they are given the lesson. Second lesson. The lesson name is green gold. Good children. The lesson name is green gold. So about this is about plants. Okay, children. We are learning. We are studying. Going to study about plants. So do you know, children, how the plant starts? So this starts. This plant life starts with a seed. Seed means bija. Okay, children. Let's learn something more about plants. In the last class, you learned about plants. Now we are going. to learn something more about plants plants are living organisms and include trees herbs bushes grasses vines ferns mosses and green algae so this living organism plants include so it includes trees herbs bushes grasses ferns mosses and green algae so it is a study about plants and it's called botany so the scientific study of plants is known as botany okay children all plants are classified and have scientific names so these plants have got scientific names a plant scientific name is a key to find out all sorts of information about the plant species so this scientific plants is called a key and it gives information about the plants there are over 3 lakh species of plants of which more than 2 lakh 550000 produce flowers so how many species of plants are there children there are 3 lakh and in this 3 lakh only 2 lakh 50000 gives flowers okay children unlike animals that need to eat already processed food the plants are able to produce their own food through a chemical process called photosynthesis so these plants produce their own food by a chemical process called photosynthesis by the help of photosynthesis plants prepare their own food like all living things plants to have a life cycle so we have all got life cycle no children so like us this plants also has got life cycle they begin as a seed grow into a mature plant and the mature plant produces new seeds so first seed will grow there and after that seed will grow into a mature plant and after this mature plant will grow produce new seeds so this will continue like that only first seed after seed it will go into a mature plant and after that mature plant gives produces seeds okay children this is called life cycle so however not all plants produce seeds some lower plants like ferns and mosses produce a different type of cells called spores these plants also have life cycle but they do not produce seeds so these plants will produce seeds no so all plants won't produce seeds see in page number 13 they are given these plants fern and mosses these are called lower plants and they have a different types of cells that is called spores but these plants also have life cycle but they won't produce seeds they produce cells that is called spores okay children see in page number 13 they are given that picture of fern and mosses okay children so first picture is fern and second picture is moss and see your children they are given seed seed will germinate into mature plant okay children next let's study the life cycle stages of a flowering plant 
now we are going to study about life cycle of a flowering plant okay children the life cycle of a flowering plant begins with a seed a seed is a baby plant so this life cycle of flowering plant will begin with a seed first with seed so this seed is called baby plant seed means beeja ee beejuna namu baby plant anta karite it contains nutrition necessary to start the life of a plant and this seed contains nutrition so it is necessary to grow to start a plant life seeds can survive over the winter and even for many years so these seeds can be survived on the winter and they live for many years so these seeds have uh, it will come in all shape and sizes so we can see in more shape and sizes these seeds and it will be covered in shells fruits or cones so the seeds will be covered with shells fruits and cones so if we cut apple into uh, apple fruit so inside we can see the seeds and in coconut also so we can see the seeds now children and in uh, uh, orange also if we cut if it open we will see the seeds inside the fruits orange fruits so this uh, seeds it will be covered with shells fruits or cones next is germination stage the next stage is germination the process of a baby plant beginning to grow is called germination so the baby plant will be there no it will be growing so that is called germination the baby plant will be growing no so that is called germination if seeds receive water and get warm the baby plant inside it starts to grow so the seeds must receive water and it must get warm so then only the baby plant it is called as also embryo so inside it will be started growing if it receives water and it will get warm then only the seeds will be growing germination is when the plant starts emerging from a seed so inside a plant the seeds will be growing no that is called germination when seeds get proper light water warmth and minerals they start germinating so when it germinates so when it gets light water minerals and warm it will start growing that is called germination so without this the seeds won't germinate okay children next after germination plants start growing plants need sunlight nutrients water and air for their survival and growth so this after germination the plants will start growing so this plants need sunlight nutrients water and air for their growth okay children so what it needs this plants this plants need sunlight nutrients water and air if it gets all this one then only the plants will grow when a plant becomes mature it gives rise to flowers and flowers produce seeds so this plants are there no when it gets matured then only it gives then it gives rise to flowers and flowers so these flowers produce seeds okay children so when a plant becomes mature when it grows it will be so it gives us flowers and these flowers produce seeds so okay children you have seen near a rose the plant when it growing when the plant becomes growing you see it will gives us flowers and if you open the flower the seeds will be there inside so if we, some seeds fell down no so that it will produce into again seeds okay children finally seeds 
get dispersed away to new places and plant life cycle begins again so seeds can get dispersed by wind water animals and explosion now you are going to pluck the flowers while plucking the flowers some seeds will fall down no children so this seeds will go for far away places and it will start again growing so this seeds will get dispersed by wind water and animals and explosion also so these seeds will go in the different way and again it will start growing okay children see here in the picture they are given stem this is stem and this is roots roots means bear see they are given two different different pictures one is stem and roots one is seeds are falling again that seeds are growing into plant it germinates into plant and again it will give uh, the flowers is there and again the flowers produce seeds okay children now turn next page here they are given diagram so that is a life cycle of a plant see here in this picture life cycle of a bean plant and this is a bean plant and this is a life cycle of that plant the seeds absorbs water so the seed is absorbing water here the root pushes through the seed coat see the root is pushing the seed coat and here the seedling grows out of the ground see here the seedlings are growing outside the ground the leaves make food for the plant and the leaves are making food for the plant the stem and its leaves grow towards the sunlight so this stem and leaves are there no it's growing towards the sunlight upwards to the sunlight the flowers make seeds again the flowers grow no that one also the flowers inside the flower seeds will be there no again it will fall down and again they will make seeds the seeds are scattered ready to grow the seeds here and there it will be scattered no seed trees ready to grow so this is the life cycle of a bean plant next to live and survive we need plants so no children for living for living more years we need plants food is a basic need to everyone so we all need food to grow no children we see in our surroundings very big small and weak trees so near your houses your friends house in the garden in the forest you all see big big small and weak trees no children you will all see this one plants are living organisms so like us like human beings plants are also living they are only or living things which can produce food with the help of sunlight air and water so these plants are living things no they, they will produce food with the help of sunlight air and water they have a hard and thick stem called trunk so these plants have hard means gatti thick andre dappa tappu girodu so that stem is called trunk okay children plants gives us fruits nuts and vegetables so this plants gives us nuts vegetables and fruits what nuts means katle uh, kai athara fruits you know, you know fruits means hannu vegetables means tarkari so this all we get from plants now let's study about parts of the plant and their function so now we can study about parts of the plant so there are so many parts of the plant and their functions what functions they are doing first is roots roots means bear the roots of a plant grow in the ground and are responsible for pulling both water and minerals to the plant so these roots what it will do it will it to grow inside the ground and it helps for pulling both water and 
minerals to the plant so it gives food to the like pulling both water and minerals they expand in the ground to increase the surface area for water absorption so they need water to grow no so it will expand and it will give more place to for water what for for water absorption they also anchor the plant into the ground for stability there are two main types of roots according to the origin of development and branching pattern so these roots are two main they are divided into two types of roots so next page so these two types of roots are first one is fibrous root and next is tap root okay children how many types of roots are there there are two types of roots so first is fibrous root and next is tap root now let us study about fibrous root a cluster of slender cluster means gonchulo slender means solpa solpa irad so okay a cluster of slender fiber like roots arises from the base of the radical and plumule which constitute the fibrous root system so this arises this roots fiber like roots arises from the radical and plumule which consists of fibrous root system so this root system contains fibrous roots this root spread in the soil each tip covered with root hairs so this roots spread in the soil so down it will spread and it the tip of the tip it is covered with root hairs okay children so for example you have seen maize grass and wheat so this vegetables this this one grows they are called fibrous root they spread into the soil and the tip is covered with root hairs for example is maize grass wheat grass means ullu wheat means godi so on the tip it will be covered with root hairs so next is tap root this type of root system develops from the radical and continues as the primary root which gives of lateral roots tap roots make a plant hard to pull out of the ground since they reach from far underground for water for example gram china rose etc so this tap root is they you know it develops from radical and it will continue as primary root which gives lateral roots so this tap root is very hard to pull out of the ground why means it is reached underground for water it is far underground for water it reaches far underground for water that's why it is hard to pull out of the ground see the given example here gram and china rose so these are called tap roots any doubts children i think you could have understood children so in the next lesson i will continue the lesson still lessons are there i will continue in the next class any doubts children thank you